So hi guys and welcome back. Today we will take a look at the DAL RC QOSD module. So what is that? An OSD is an on-screen display and this will uh, uh, basically plug between your camera and your video transmitter and overlay your FPV board cam image with useful information such as the battery voltage remaining or maybe an artificial horizon and so on. Uh, today we will take a look at this DAL RC QOSD uh, which is kind of special because it's an, well, how would I say, a plug and play or maybe an all-in-one OSD. So let's first see what we get here in the package before I further explain this. This is the OSD module itself with all the pins here which I will explain in just a minute. Which you can see here. There's also a button control here which will let you navigate the, the, the menus and so on. We will also take a look at this in a minute. Apart from this uh, base module, this also comes with a GPS module, which you can see here. So this, so this uh, OSD has built-in GPS support. Also comes with this tiny battery here, which will let the GPS uh, remember its last location for a quick startup, for quickly de determining uh, your your current location. And it also comes with this little USB flasher, which will actually let you upgrade the firmware of your OSD. So this is what comes in the box. And I said before that this is kind of special because it's an all-in-one or plug-and-play OSD. That means that little OSD that little module already comes with all the sensors which are needed uh, or which are useful as an overlay to your uh, FPV uh, image. So that means there is already a compass on board of that which can then show you the direction in which you are flying. There is a barometer on board of that. That's the little uh, module here with the hole in it. Yeah. Here you can see it nicely. Uh, the parameter will tell you the height of your craft, so how high you are flying. Then there is already a, a, a gyroscope and the accelerometer on board, which means that this alone can already show you an artificial horizon because it knows its position. And furthermore, as we saw before, it also comes with a GPS module, which is also quite nice because this uh, GPS module, this GPS sensor will show your current location, will show your speed, uh, will show the distance from home, will show your home direction and many other useful uh, information, much more useful information is supported by this GPS. Uh, there are two more things which are shown, well there are many more, but two of them which are also relevant is the uh, uh, voltage of the flight battery. This is nice because then you can see beforehand uh, when your flight battery might get empty so you can return home and it also shows you the flight time. So before we try this out actually, uh, including some DVR display, uh, we will just check some basic parameters of this first, which is the weight and the size of it. So let's start with the weight here. Let's see if you can see this well. Yeah, that works. So the base module alone comes at a weight of 5 grams. But this is really nice because this is very lightweight. The GPS module, which is needed for some of the more interesting features of this. Uh, including the cable. The cable is really lightweight and it is shrink wrapped so I will leave that on. This comes at about 10 grams. So together this package comes at 15 grams which is not too bad. So that is quite okay. Let's also take a look at the size of this. 
which is sometimes important for your smaller crafts. So let's see what we have here. So I'll just focus this for you. And you can see this comes at the at the width of 20 millimeters, two centimeters, and the length is including these collectors. I just try to get this in here is about 49 millimeters so that is really really small so and here we have 3.5 millimeters and at the end including these connectors we are here at about 7 to 8 millimeters let's check the gps as well so the gps comes at 26 times 26 millimeters and has a width of 7 millimeters. So now I will show you quickly how to set this up and then we will take a look at how this works. So basically you connect everything to this base module here. What I have prepared is a video camera here with the uh, usual inputs and outputs. So we have here yellow for the video cable red for the voltage in and uh, brown in this case for the for the ground and then if we take a look at this here you can see we have here uh, in and out so here's in here's out and of course uh, the the image from the board camera is what comes in so this would be connected like that and you can see it so in is the in video signal from the camera here and then we provide the camera well the OST provides the camera with the necessary voltage that goes from I think 6 to 26 volts and uh, whatever you input to the OST through this connection so I will show it to you in a minute will also be output to the camera so please take care if your camera does not support a wide range of voltage you might have to put a voltage regulator here in between so that's for the camera and of course there is a the out pin yeah i have a, a simple ea shine transmitter here so the out pin always goes to your transmitter there are also many cables here but basically what you need here is there it is so you basically again have the video signal out here that's the yellow one and then red and brown and uh, red and brown is basically the voltage which is uh, which comes from the video transmitter and is supplied to the video transmitter what we see here is that video transmitter uh, provides <coughs> both 5 voltage out that's on the very bottom of it and simple power out so i'm using here the simple power out because with the 5 voltage out the qosd will not work because it will need at least 6 volts to operate but it will work fine with power out as long as you keep it at, at 3 to 4 cells so basically i have here this balance connector with which i power the uh, whole setup through a 3S sliper and here I have this connector again yellow for video red and black for the for the current for the voltage which I hook up here and you can already see here the video out is on top so let me just plug this in the video out is on top and then we have the VCC the voltage in and the ground so basically this OSD is powered by the transmitter. The transmitter is powered by 3S LiPo and the OSD also gives exactly this voltage to the board camera. This works for me, but please take care if all your components, if the voltage of all your components is uh, compatible, otherwise you will have to do this in another way. And finally, I will just leave them hanging here. We have the GPS and the GPS is connected here 
on this left four bands in this way so we have a transceiver a receiver five volts and ground so just for the gps this osd will actually down regulate the voltage in to five volts it does that just for the gps this is something to be remembered so this showed you how to uh, quickly connect this osd and now we will take a look at how it performs in action okay so i have now plugged everything in and you can already see this really nice image of my uh, bench <laughs> but the interesting fact is the osd overlay which we see here we will go through uh, some of the of the basic uh, uh, overlay information uh, here from uh, left to right and from top to bottom so on the top left you see the battery voltage uh, uh, next uh, on the right of that you actually see the pitch and roll of your craft and below that you see the home indicator so that will show you where is home based on the uh, gps then uh, next uh, you will see the current speed of your craft and on the top right you will see the number of satellites of course we are here uh, inside so we see zero when you are outside this will change to five six or more satellites which are currently available and which give you your position speed and so on and there are some more uh, indicators on the left side uh, which are the total voyage on the left side so that means the total distance which you traveled then the distance from home which is this little d so the current uh, straight line distance from home your current height and some more information including your current direction uh, in degrees uh, in which you are, you are traveling and what is also interesting uh, to see is here in the middle this is really an interesting fact you can see the artificial horizon which is changing now that I move the OSD and I can only do that because this OSD has all the sensors already in integrated so this is really nice you can also see the heading changing on the left so this works really well on the bottom right you also see the uh, current flight time so this is the basic overlay information we will also take a quick look at the menu at the setup menu of this OSD you can get into that by simply pressing the button which I showed you before for more than two seconds which I'm doing now and here you can see the basic setup menu of this OSD uh, you can do some VCC calibration in case that the OSD does not read your battery voltage right RSSI calibration video format so you can change this from PAL to NTSC based on what you are using OSD screen type so there are some several different types of how this can be uh, set up of how mm, the things are displayed on the on the screen so you can change that you can say if you want to either use the parameter which we saw before the little thing with the hole to uh, measure your height or the GPS usually the parameter is much more exact much more precise so you will want to use that and there are some more <coughs> sorry and there are some more things to turn on and off there's also a custom menu which you can basically use to just turn on and off all those things which you want to see or which you maybe don't want to see so this is nice I will just go through that quickly you can basically look up all these things in the manual which I will link in the video description uh, to see what they are for so let's exit this again okay so this concludes the small review of the menu of this OSD and now maybe well let's say some some final words so as you saw this is really nice this works really nice it comes about at about 40 to 50 bucks so 40 to 50 usd which is actually not too bad for what 
is included in this package. So the 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 big question is, uh, where would I use this? Well, for me, this OSD is perfect, really perfect to use on all of my fixed wing planes. So on my flying wings, on my FPV Pixlr, so all of these F FPV planes which do not already have a flight controller on board. Because if there is already a flight controller on board, then you will probably use another OSD because the flight controller already provides you the accelerometer, the gyroscope and so on. So this would be an overhead here and if you are on a drone uh, which you use for aerial photography, then that drone will already have the GPS on board as well. So where this OSD really points for me is to use on my fixed wing FPV aircrafts, which do not have a flight controller on board. And for that, it is awesome. It is excellent. For 40 bucks, a bit more than 40 bucks, this is a great upgrade for all of my FPV fixed wing airplanes. So this concludes my uh, review of this OSD. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up, please subscribe, please leave your comments below and I am looking forward to see you next time.